What is up guys welcome back to another video of Rainbow Six Siege and in today's video we'll be talking about tips and tricks in Rainbow Six Siege and in today's video I'll be talking about how to defend properly in the map bank so without further ado let's get right into this video. Alright, so we're going to start off on the bottom floor, the vault. Now, when you're defending in the vault, let's say, defuse the bomb or secure the area. We're not going to do hostage because hostage is not really much to talk about when being inside the safe. But, if you're in this room here, either defending the bomb, defending the biohazard container or defusing the bomb, what you want to do for the, the very first thing you want to do, it's fortifies, let's see, fortify that wall, make sure you fortify these walls. And make sure you barricade this window right here. Down to five seconds. Don't fortify that wall right there. Don't Hostage leave it leave it located. unfortified. But make sure you fortify this. And if you're a castle, don't castle this. And don't castle this. But do make sure you fortify this wall, that wall, and that wall. If you can, but leave this wall not fortified and I'll talk about that later but if you're doing defuse the bomb you're gonna wanna actually if you're defusing the bomb you're gonna wanna open this up you're not gonna wanna keep this fortified you're actually gonna wanna open this up with the blast adult with the hole or something so you can rush to the other side over here now there's gonna be a bomb here too if you're defusing the bomb now you're gonna wanna fortify this and you're gonna wanna barricade this now I suggest when you're for when you're in that room, make sure there's either someone here with make sure this is actually barricaded up. Make sure there's actually someone here watching, or you yourself can be standing here or crouched down waiting for the enemy team to come into the sewer. Now do make make sure to actually barricade this because if you don't barricade that, someone can just someone can just walk in and be like pop 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 and take it take you basically take you out. What you want to do is actually barricade this so if they're going to come in through here you're going to hear the, the breaking of the wood from the barricade and you're going to be like oh someone's coming you're going to be ready for them and once they peek out you take them out. As if you're waiting here you can also if they're going to breach there you can peek out and take them out. Now if you're def if you're securing the area and it's the buyer has a container what you want to do is barricade this Barricade that and barricade this. Leave this one open because if they come in through garage, if they come in garage, let's say they come to the garage and they come in through here, or they're coming in through sewer, or they're coming in from that area, and they're securing the area and everything is fortified, and you're let's say you're in the safe or you're hiding somewhere, you come out through here, you can if you have an impact in C4, you can easily blow that, come in here, and take them out. Or have the secure the area on a con on like conquest conquest or some I forgot what it's called. I think it's contested. Con it's contested. Have that so they're not able to secure the area and you're not able to secure it. So let's say they came in through here. Let's say they breached through the elevator, came down through here, came over here, breached through the window, hopped in, and they're hiding over here. And let's say you were over here waiting for them to come through here. If seconds. you're waiting for them, you can easily throw an impact in HC4, come in over here, Time contest it, quickly come over here, and take him out. Now moving up from vault, the vault. If you're defending hostage in this located. room... Oh, hey look, it's a hostage. <laughs> um, if you're defending in this room, let's say it's the hostage, secure the area, or... Uh, I'm not sure if there's actually... Is there a defuse the bomb in here? I don't quite remember, but if it's defuse the bomb, secure the area, find the hostage. You're gonna want to barricade that. Obviously, you're gonna want to barricade that. You're gonna want to barricade that as well. You're actually gonna want to definitely barricade this. If you have a castle, it's perfect. Castle, put a castle wall up there, and put a castle wall up on that door. Also, you do want to actually barricade this door here. I can't barricade the door right now because I'm a, a attacking. A defender attacking operator you also want to barricade this I suggest if you got impact grenades kind of don't blow this up until necessary let's say you're on the other side and they're in there securing the area or rescuing the hostage you can come in and basically take them out as they're picking them up also 
don't barricade this there's no need to if you're gonna be in this room you're obviously gonna have people outside of this room what I do suggest is keep a man here or you yourself can be waiting here watching the door someone comes in you can see them come in don't shoot them when you see them like right about here because if you shoot now you're gonna miss and they're gonna it's gonna easily open your position you're gonna they're gonna know where you are and they're gonna easily gonna come around and take you out wait till they actually walk by go that way wait till they actually get right about there or there so that way you have a better chance of taking them out now if you're in this room let's say you're gonna want to be in the room best place to hide don't hide here they breach this you're dead best place to hide is right underneath the desk now do be do be careful be very careful because you can easily shoot through this so let's say I was over here and I was at attacking and I was peeking and I'll be like oh wait there's someone around here I can easily or I can just throw in a grenade actually so I threw a grenade that's it I mean that's easy gonna kill seconds. anybody here that's the I mean you don't want to hide there best place to hide is underneath that desk or actually nope you can't go on top of this but just left. hide underneath this desk so that way you have a better chance to peek them out like I was saying you can hide under here before I was really interrupted you can hide under here hide underneath the table so that way when they come in through the door they start breaching that door you have easily chance to take some pot shots at them anyone who comes in through here is going to be easily spotted. Ten seconds left. Before, bef bef like if you come in through here, five seconds left. Anyone who's underneath the table is going to spot anyone coming in here before they actually spot you. But do be Good careful work. though. Hostage location. Be very secure. very careful because they can actually throw it. They can be like right here and toss their grenade in, and the grenade can roll over here. And once that in that case, if the grenade comes over here, you're you're you're, you're basically dead. If you're also defending in that room best place to hide in this case I know this open area there's not really much place to not a lot of places to hide I don't suggest hiding here I don't suggest hiding behind this couch here because anyone up there especially glass can actually see you and take some sniper shots at you I also don't recommend anybody hiding behind the desk there because that can easily be taken out if you pop your head out what I do recommend is hiding, well, not really hiding there, actually, no, actually hide right here. Just don't go in your camps for too long because if they breach through that door, that window, let's say someone breaches through there, let's see if I can actually show you. If someone breaches you through there, if you remain in this area. they your can location easily, has been compromised. very easily see you if your legs are sticking out. What I do recommend for you, a good place to hide, which I guarantee you they're not going to see you is right here now I don't don't go all the way up like this like I'm gonna stay right here because if you do that they're gonna see you from there they might see you from there just kinda go all the way back now they actually do never mind I take that back they can't actually see you from up here but normally no one actually repels from up here unless it's a very desperate attempt to actually get down here but the best thing about this hiding spot is anyone that comes in through here most players don't normally check this place. They don't check right here because they don't expect anyone to be hiding there. They just come in. It's like, all right, I'm gonna hide behind this this stone this stone desk. I'm gonna go over here, hide behind that couch. I'm gonna run up the stairs. When that happens and they don't check this area, you can easily pop up, take them out, take out whoever's going up the stairs. Now, if there's too many, I don't recommend popping out right away wait till they're all kind of spread out and there's you can pick them off one by one now if you're defending CEO's office whether it be hostage secure the area defuse the bomb what you're gonna do is you're definitely gonna def fortify that wall barricade fortify that wall barricade or fortify that wall you don't want to actually barricade any of these walls here you actually if you do have any if your teammates have any impact grenades ask them to um, open a hole for that for you that we have an easy access to run through and you can barricade this doorway here barricade definitely barricade these windows here make sure you barricade that door and that door also you very 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 much want to actually barricade that door 
if you can fortify that wall but I don't recommend it right away actually focus inside where the objective is being that wall and those walls back there what you actually want to do is barricade these windows be that's be the first thing you want to do besides being the walls over there is barricade these windows because anyone who's over there that is on those glasses like uh, on the roof watching like either you're going to take it either, either it's glass buck for example uh, twitch anyone who has like a sniper rifle can easily be up there and be taking shots through the window here into the room over here now if you don't have this door barricaded and you don't have these walls barricaded they can shoot through the window shoot open a hole through here for example shoot open a hole like that not that big of a hole but they can easily kind of you know peek from that distance it may not be very accurate but they'll still get some shots on you so that's why I'm saying barricade these walls that wall being that wall that wall this wall and the windows here now if you're gonna be if you don't want to be inside the biohazard container let's say be bomb and they're gonna fuse hide behind this table it's a perfect way but if you have an extra fortified wall actually you might want to fortify this or this wall because they can actually if they know someone's behind the table and they droned you out but you haven't noticed it they can actually breach from there or here and you can be caught off guard and they can easily take you out. Another great place to hide when defending in CEO's office is right behind here. Now, I, I what I suggest you do when hiding behind here is play as Frost. If you don't have Frost, try to maybe play as Pulse or something. But if you play as Frost, you can like a, lay a trap here Down and lay a seconds. trap there. That way when they come in, it's gonna be very difficult for them to see the trap. Or Down to five seconds. if they think someone's here, they're gonna rush around and be like, oh, I got you, and basically get on the trap. So if you're gonna be Frost and you're gonna be hiding in this room, lay a trap there. Lay a trap there. Also, lay a trap here. That way, if you lay a trap there, they're definitely gonna have to shoot. They're gonna shoot the trap because they're gonna want to take it out. And once they shoot the trap, it gives you a somewhat small heads up as to oh someone is coming through this room and you're hiding here there's gonna trap you there you can wait for them make sure you, when you're crouched when you're hiding here make sure your um your sights are not aimed low they're actually aimed like to, to, towards like a headshot so when they come in you can take some headshots of them now if you're defending an office an office room i'm not sure i think this is kitchen area and this is office room if you're defending in kitchen area or office room make sure you actually get the hatches always get the hatches most importantly get this hatch here and that hatch there if you can get that hatch over there but it's not as important as these two hatches also you actually do want to barricade this if you have a castle as always barricade this with a castle if not always make sure you barricade this door here barricade this door here as well you actually want to move around and barricade this wall here even if there's no one, if you're not defending in this room, make sure you barricade that because they can still come in and breach through there and go through there. Make sure you barricade that wall. Now, if you're defending in here, and let's say it's the bomb and you have a bomb here and a bomb over there, make sure you barricade this. Everyone barricades this, but make sure you actually barricade it. Barricade that. Don't barricade those these walls right here. Do not barricade. I see so many people barricade these walls. Do not barricade them yet. They serve for their own purpose later, and I'll explain that later. Make sure the wall, the door is barricaded there. If you want to, and you don't want to be inside the contain and be inside the objective, you can hide over here. Make sure actually that door down there is barricaded, so you hear if anyone coming through. Don't barricade this. Leave it open. It gives the enemy team a sense of security when they come in. Like oh. There's no one there. It's open. If as if you barricade, they'd be like, okay, someone maybe is in that room waiting to peek us. Keep the door open. Wait till you hear them breaching from the storage, the closet, the storage room there, and start walking this way or coming up the stairs. That way, if they do, if they actually do come from there, come out, kind of take a little peek and shoot them. Be careful of that plant right there because they can hide something behind that plant. You may not even notice them until it's too late. But that's if you want to actually hide out there. Remember that if you actually come out from your hiding spot, it's going to trigger the alarm and it gives your position away. So if you come out, make sure you don't go back. Also, this wall here. If you can, 
use Valkyrie's um, pistol, her Desert Eagle. I mean, it makes a big enough eight. hole. Lee, don't make a too big a hole because if they're peeking through the window three. here, if they're peeking through the window here, if you make too much of a big hole, not they're going to be able to see through and they're going to take out anyone who's behind the wall. Don't do not at all. Do not barricade this wall. Believe me, it will come useful once the team, once the round is starting and the enemy is coming in through that window. The reason is the reason why and the reason is to this is that if you keep this little hole open and you're over here, you can see anybody, anyone, and as long as you're not. You know, as long as the chair is not behind it, but anyone who comes in through that window is gonna pop up right on that hole. That way, if they come in through here, they're gonna be taken out faster than they can reload. Now, if you barricaded this and you barricade this and you barricade that and you barricade this, you're not gonna be able to do that. Even if you barricade just this wall right here and this wall, and let's say. You got a little, you got some shots on him, but you didn't kill him. You can still shoot through the wall, and it's bound to at least get some targets. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's this. Uh, I mean, there's bullet holes everywhere. I mean, you miss him here, he's gonna get shot walking behind, walking through that behind that wall. So that's why you don't barricade it. I see a lot of people actually barricading the wall, and I'm like, don't, don't barricade the wall. Don't, and then they do it anyways, and it's just like, uh, you, you, you basically uh, screwed us over because it is defuse the bomb. There's going to be a bomb here, and there's going to be a bomb there. If they come in through that window, there's going to be no chance for you to shoot through the wall and kill them. You're going to have to come around here, peek them, and if there's someone over there and someone falling down the hatch or watching the hatch or watching that door, you're basically screwed. Um, don't hide behind this table. Don't, don't hide on the table or don't hide behind here because if they breach that, there's going to be someone watching there, and basically by the time you get up to vault over and drop down, you don't even have that much time to even get up. I mean, you're basically dead because anyone who breaches that door is going to be hiding behind here, hiding like this, and breaching. By the time they breach, by the time you actually notice the breach and get up, it's going to be too late, and you're basically dead. Another great place to hide is the elevator. Now, you actually want to keep behind the doors don't go all the way back here because if you go all the way Ten back here left. you're pretty much obviously going to get seen by anyone coming in over there and Down it's hard to seconds. see that far unless you're attacking operator and you have a ACOG site Good work. best Positive place to hide is behind these doors that way if someone throws a grenade it's going to roll out back there and you're not going to get as you're not going to lose as much health as if you would be if you were back there I also don't recommend you peeking out too many times. Wait till you actually hear the footprints of the operators walking this way and then peek out and fire it all and basically shoot it out. Do not hide in this elevator. Do not do not hide in this elevator. There's literally I mean you can hide behind the doors, but I mean you're gonna be seen here unless you're actually gonna wait to spawn peek them, but they can still spawn peek you by coming in through here and kind of like slowly peeking over they can still see you and it, most of the time they see you before you actually see them in this case it's hard for me to tell who's behind the flag at this moment so do not hide in this elevator at all best place to be is in that elevator and make sure if you have impact grenades make sure you blow that hole that way if they know where you are and they're actually firing at you you can make a clean quick getaway and drop down there without without dying basically and the same goes for the second elevator on the second floor. Keep in mind that this trap door does not go down to this. It goes down to the second floor, but it also drops down into another elevator. So if you're going to hide in this elevator, don't hide here. Hide right here. Because if you hide right here, anyone coming up the stairs is going to see you before you actually see them. And anyone actually on that window over there can easily take you out before you even notice anyone's on there. Best place to be is behind this door here wait for them wait for them to walk by peek out 
don't peek out for too long and once you do reveal your position by taking someone out don't stay in the elevator because they will toss something in there to disorient you kill you or do base they either will throw in a flashbang a grenade or a smoke and basically your covers blown and you have no way of running out because they will be watching this year for you to run out like i said it makes sure this trap door is blown that way if you do review your position and by take killing someone you have a clean quick getaway to drop back down and disappear without them knowing and that is all guys so don't forget to comment like subscribe with notifications on for more rainbow six siege content also check out my latest videos on the leaked pictures and information of operation blood Orga. that will be released on august 29th for Rainbow Six Siege. Until then guys, thank you all for watching. Peace out, live long and prosper, and may the force be with you.